How's it going, everyone? My name is Cornchip, and welcome back to The Last Promise. We're on to chapter 9. I just lost a Speedwing, I believe it was, in the last chapter, and probably a bunch of other items, because my guide was telling me, hey, don't train these... We got, like, three units last chapter. And the guide I have, like, to help with the secrets is, like, don't use them in combat, because none of their stuff's going to carry over to chapter 10. But I... I didn't know that the items would go away. Like, the guide didn't really specify that much about, like, what actually happens, so I threw a bunch of my items onto them because I have a lot of items. And one of those was a Speedwing. And now I just don't have it. I lost it. I'm pretty bummed about it. Uh, here's the team I'm bringing. I'm leaving Noah out still. Which, once again, it's pretty nice not having Storm because I just... I wouldn't even be able to have him in chapters anyway. The only reason it sucks is because he'd be able to hold more items for me and I, uh, don't have the five spots he would give me. Anyway, though, I've rambled on enough. It's time to get started with seizing the gate. Uh, and... We get Haas, I guess? Commander Siegfried! Haas? How did you make it here so quickly? Well, the Athean front has ended wonderfully. We were able to halt Magnian forces and make Taos and Kashaya surrender. Now, our lives are yours to command. Thank you. If I may ask, where are your men? Half of my warriors are keeping order in Athea and the rest are close by, preventing reinforcements. I hope you were pleased? That's excellent, Haas. Our combined forces will easily overwhelm the enemy. And one more thing. I shall be riding with you, if you would allow me to. I had been planning to come here to fight earlier, but the Taos tribe delayed my progress more than I expected. However, with your help at the battle on the border, I was finally able to put an end to their interference. Now I, too, shall put my life on the line for this cause. Your help would be greatly appreciated, Chief Haas. On behalf of Solomon's Rebellion, we grant you a warm welcome. You are a friend, leader, and warrior of great honor, and I feel at ease knowing that you will be here to aid us. Thank you. I hope I do not let you down. Also, this air and humidity is foreboding of rain. No! We should advance fast while the rain does not impede us. Oh, you're right. I hadn't noticed myself. Let us press on, then. Boo, I don't want rain. Oh, here's a classic Fire Emblem song. Uh, let me see if Sia can kill before I let Arthur do it. Yep. Sorry, Arthur. Oh, I didn't show you guys the map, really. Um, we're just gonna have to go around these mountains, basically. And there is an armory, which is pretty nice. And then there's a village, and then there's a vendor. And... And here's a boss, Liquid. His hair is frickin' nuts. A good-natured bandit, loyal to the wrong man. And spoiler alert, my guide says, uh, I'm not gonna kill him. I mean, I think I can, but there's a way to not to. And then here's Haas, I guess? Level 5 Nomad Trooper? Killing Edge and a Steel Bow? The Chief of the Fora, the strongest tribe in Athea. Powerful, cunning, and just. Got some pretty nice stats, let's be real here. Um, anyway, he's not moving anywhere this turn, he's not really getting anywhere this turn. Uh, so, I guess, let's see if Anana can do anything. Oh, I kept the Emblem Lance on her, I didn't actually mean to do that, but it's fine. Yeah, let's just throw something at him. Get a little bit of experience. I think Corbin has a javelin, come to think of it, that's like at one durability. And I'm A-OK -okay with just breaking it right now. Clear up my inventory some more. Oh no, what a shame. And then let Kevin come up here. And hopefully not miss. Yay, Kevin. Not a lot of experience for that kill, but it's fine. Then Kevin will bait this guy over. This guy, just like I said earlier, he really can't do anything. I guess I could have Sean go and attack, actually, but... I don't know if I want to? He doesn't take a lot of damage, so sure, why not? Yeah, and I think I gave him the Emblem Sword. All Thayers had it last time. But not this time. And yeah, now I have Haas... I feel like I might, or I should, like, maybe focus on supports, because I haven't been doing that at all, but I don't even know who has support compatibility.
And FE7's weird where you just like build supports by having people stay near each other, essentially. Oh, another boss? Ah, Liquid. Looks like everything is moving in plan. <laughs> Count Pelino. You leaving so soon? Yes, Liquid. Siegfried's rebels are coming rather fast. It'd be a real shame if I were to die here. You- oh, a new sprite! That's actually really cool. You- you using us as a shield? That's how it's going. Now that you know, what shall you do, Liquid? Remember, I saved you from those bandits. Your father. What an atrocious band, no? Anyway, just consider this part of paying back that debt, Liquid. Oh, okay. Ugh. Ah, but still, try your hardest out there. If you can stop our enemy's march, you will be out of debt. Out of debt. Yes, Liquid. Oh, and all those villages your father plundered. I'll restore them to their former glory for you. In the name of Liquid. Golly, that'd be wonderful. Count Pelinor, I'll stop them. All of them will be destroyed. <laughs> well then, I'm returning to Yulia. Just take them out and come back for your prize. For real though, the fact that he has his own little sprite, that seems pretty advanced. Especially for such an old ROM hack. I don't really think there was any, like, changing facial expressions in uh, Vision Quest or the Sun God's Wrath. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just cool that they put it in here. Alright, this awkward positioning sucks. Um, oh wait, Inanna, can you maybe, like, steal a kill here? Because I do love doing that. That's not what I want, not a javelin. Aw, oh, one damage off? Well, maybe her javelin can kill this other guy, though. If she doesn't miss. Sweet! I'm gonna leave him open to the axe. It's- oh, well, darn. At least I don't take any damage. Well, now what? Corbin, I guess, can come up here and, uh, whack. Oh my god, okay. I don't think a lot of you watch my Dark Deity series, but I literally just recorded Chapter 18, and I missed so many 90s. And the fact that I just missed a 94... I, mm, apparently my luck, just in general, is very bad today. And it sucks. <laughs> I mean, you... Oh, 52, never mind. I was thinking about doing that, but I've decided against it. Although, I do need to turn on his animations. Almost forgot. R let's be real, I did forget. I just didn't attack with him yet. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Sean needs healing, so I don't really want to keep him here. Especially because he can't kill anyway. Even with a piercing sword. So, uh, hmm. Oh wait, the lance is right here. Can you miss- or not miss a 90-something? Thank you. God, it's so frustrating. There you go, Sean. Good as new. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put him here, pull out the Killing Edge, and then get Kevin's Axe Reaver out, so... I don't know who this guy will attack, but we will find out, won't we? Alternatively, I could put all fairs there, but... I don't know. That seems a little dumb. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and then my mages. Uh... Start moving, I guess. Oh, dodge a 70. Cool. Went after all fairs. Has no accuracy. Although I really don't either. And all fairs pulled it off anyway. Nice job. Dang. 
Corbin's suddenly dodging everything. Very cool of you. Corn chip approves. Oh, yep, there's the rain. Oh boy. That sucks. <laughs> Cause she's a level seven, you're at level eight? Okay. Well, I'll still use her anyway. She doesn't have the best chance of hitting, so. Yep. All right, we got one. It's something. You're level seven to level eight. I guess if you can get the kill, please do. Nice. All right, and now we just continue crawling forward, I suppose? Thank you very much, Kevin. Oh wait, I think I wanted Inanna to maybe kill him, but it's too late now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, nobody can really move, so... That's probably a waste, but go ahead and just throw a javelin. See if you can hit. Oh, nice. And then Sean's not gonna be able to get up there. Siegfried I'd rather not have more experience for. Although Corbin's my highest level, so he doesn't need to move, I need it either. But oh well, I did it. It's been done. So they also can't move very much in the rain, so at least I have that. Does anyone need healing? Uh... Corbin, and that's it. Alright. Which obviously she's not getting to Corbin anytime soon. With the rain. You know what, I think I might have you... Well... Hmm. Never mind, I'm gonna have Sean do it. Sean, just sit right here, pull out that... Uh, actually, let's break the sword. I mean, it's not gonna break yet, but... Let's work on breaking the sword. Once again, continue the slow advance forward. He has inventory space. I don't know if the house is gonna give me anything, but we'll find out. Hey! You know, there's an awesome armory right next to this house. And the village east of here has a really cool shop. You should check them out. They have some nice stuff. Uh, thanks. Dude, uh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Don't beep at me. I didn't mean to click where I clicked. Oh, reinforcements popped up in the fortresses. That's why the camera kind of moved oddly, I guess. Will Sean double? No, he will not. Disappointing everybody. Most importantly, me. You disappointed me, Sean. You can never make it up to me. Uh, hmm. Obviously, he doesn't need the kill, but... Oh, we haven't seen him in action, though. He looks pretty dang cool. That's, like, gonna be the only time I use him, hopefully. I just didn't really want to deal with the hand axe and the stupid rain. Alright, so Corbin will go to the shop. Let me double check that they can't reach us. Oh. He has a hand axe, too. Bummer. And your javelin's gone. Uh, it's fine. I'll let you get hit anyway. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually gonna be buying anything, but I want to take a look. Pretty standard stuff. Gonna sell this red gem and this vulnerary. Yeah, that's- that's all. Uh, we already talked to the house. That's what you do with houses, you talk to them. Uh, I think... I was gonna say maybe I'll let Shuda take care of this, but... Also my thief boy. Although if he gets hit, that's gonna be pretty bad. I'll take that risk though. Oh, nice! Oh, perfect. I mean, kind of. Sure. 
Perfect is probably not a really accurate description of that, but... I'm happy with that offensive level. See ya, maybe one day you'll get back to your friends. That's a lot of reinforcements. Alright, he sucks, which is great. Is the rain gonna stop now? Nice! Alright, it's go time. Uh... <laughs> I say that and then I'm like, well, what do I do? Sean... Uh, Iron Sword? Yeah. I wanna break it. It will be broken. Kevin, can you reach? I mean... I know you don't really need the experience either, but here you go. I should probably just stop worrying about it, who cares? He's almost leveled up. And he increased his lance proficiency, so good for him. It's what we like to see. Oh, he has the Zanbato. Alright, well I don't want to put Inanna here thanks to the archer. So what do I do? Does he have a longbow? What does he have? Nope, just an iron bow. Hmm. I mean, I think I have to go against the Zan... Bato anyway. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage if he even hits. 59 isn't the best chance. He did hit. Oh well. It's fine. I don't care. I'm gonna risk Anana anyway, because... I believe their damage is only times two with the bow. And if I'm wrong, she has a decent amount of HP, and the, you know, good defense she really shouldn't have. Also, she can counterattack, so they might not go after her. They might just decide to hit Corbin. I'm gonna go ahead and sell his elixir, because we don't need it. And just move him here, sure. I don't think you have anything to sell, so you can just kind of start bunching up <laughs> with everybody else. And this might be a problem, whoops. These people, like, gonna be just trailing us, but we can deal with it as they approach. It's fine, probably. Should I have anything to sell? No, he's actually just got a full inventory of swords. You don't have anything to sell. I mean, maybe the unlock, but I don't know what chapter 10 will have. Yeah, they didn't even go after Inanna. Do you need to sell anything? Yeah, we can sell the mine. I don't really care about that. Let's just go ahead and do it now. <laughs> I really like the shop music. Nice and chill. I think... Everyone else is pretty... Well, we could probably sell the torch. And we could probably sell the chest keys, too, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna load stuff on Haas to sell. I think Sia has... Yeah, Elixir and Vulnerary I want to sell, but she's far away, so... I don't think I want to take that risk either, so she's just gonna run over here. And once again, we will just wait for these people to, you know, slowly make their way to me. In the meantime... Inanna, my tank, can handle all these people. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to put her here. Actually, let's soft in this guy up with Corbin first, I guess. Sorry, I feel like this turn's taking too long just for me to look through inventories. But oh well, I'm making progress. We're doing this. Uh, I really hope I don't miss an 82. 
either time. Thank you, Inanna. Is she close to leveling? I can't remember. Not really. Near good in your inventory, like I've said. Um, There's some people I do kind of want to keep back, just like to deal with the reinforcements. There are like six bandits behind us so far. And more may come. I don't know. So yeah, I think I will just leave them. Alright, Inanna. Doesn't even take damage from this guy. Amazing. Here come all the Axe Bandit boys. Good dodge. Alright. Are they close enough now to where I feel comfortable fighting? I don't really know. He's still on a peak, so accuracy is still very bad. So I think the answer is no, not comfortable yet. She's gonna go here and sell her crap. Actually, no, 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 no. Hold on. He needs to go first. Because <laughs> he can actually move out of the way. Okay, we don't want the chest keys and we don't want the torch. Bye-bye. Now she can go sell her stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Shuda here. And we're gonna break this iron sword and then I'll throw on the other one. It'll be great. Just you wait and see. Uh, other than that, let's bring Kevin forward to not kill this guy. Huh. How do I get rid of this guy? <laughs> I don't really want Inanna here because Archer. Although he really doesn't do a lot of damage. But there's two archers come to think of it. It's really not great. Could just move her here. Oh wait, she has Horse Slayer, which still doesn't kill, which is a bummer. Sean, I doubt you- well, you have the Piercing Sword. What can that do for me? Not enough. Dang, this guy's beefy. Let's try the Killer Lance. Darn it. At least he hit. Alright, Kevin. I don't remember the last time you leveled up, to be honest. And it's... it's... it's whatever. I don't know. I'm never satisfied. That's not what I want to do. I thought he had a javelin. You have a javelin. You don't need the kills, but sure, go for it. Uh, you can go ahead and heal Corbin for me. That'd be really swell. Sean can't get through. Corbin can. Let's go for this. Is that enough for uh, Inanna to kill? Because if so, I will do that. Uh, if she doesn't miss an 84, I will take the risk. What level is she right now? My memory sucks. She's level 10, okay. Oh, why did I forget that the rain would be coming back? So now Sean can't even- or sorry, not Sean. Shuda can't even be attacked. Whoops, sorry, Sean. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, and the archer couldn't reach uh, Inanna, which is cool, I guess. Alright, I still want Shuda to break this sword, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hopefully you don't get hit by a 43. Do I want to risk that? Or Well, yeah. I mean, the other people couldn't attack him, right? No, they could if this one moved around. I think I'm still gonna play it safe and just have him stay. Stay. 
And Althares will be here too. I've got my two mages, because I don't have to do anything else. Uh, Sean needs healing again, so I guess let's get her that experience. And now what? Oh, he's on a forest. That's not good. Ouch. Dang, this guy is pretty powerful. Two chances? Still don't like using Siegfried for kills, but whatever. I'm tired of this rain. And I need to make progress, I just need to keep going forward. I will risk Corbin getting hit with a bow. That's fine. Just continue to slowly move these people forward. Shuda is staying with that sword. I want to break the dang sword. Did not dodge 57. Bummer. Did not double. Also bummer. Did not dodge a 67. Bummer. <laughs> Alright, break that sword, boy. Good dodge. Oh, what a bummer. I'm a little worried at how many units are coming, because, like, if they pull off the low hits, it's, you know, not great. And now they can move pretty quickly, so... And some of them can hit Arthur, too. I might just be a weenie and, like, fall back. A little bit, at least. Have these two on forests, and then move Arthur and Sia further back for now. And Arthur can be hit, so that kind of sucks, but Tamiko's here, at least. Go ahead and heal Inanna, because why not? What level is she at? Is this 15? Oh my god, it's 17! I was way off! Um... Why so many archers, dude? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Is that how the song goes? Why is this guy so dodgy? I mean, I still hit him, but... I have pretty low accuracy against this dude. I'm not a fan. I don't really know if I should keep using the javelins. Ah, uh, he'll kill? Dang it. Quit being powerful. Of course, Sean can't kill for me. What about you? Did I check this one? Horse Slayer. Don't miss. You missed. I told you not to, and you did it anyway. Never been more disrespected in my life. I guess you will get this kill. And assuming you don't miss. And you did. Great. <laughs> Does the javelin still break? No. Okay, Corbin, can you do this for me? Yes, you can. <laughs> Excuse me for that sneeze. That might be incredibly loud. If so, I apologize. <laughs> oh my god, Sean, when did you fall off so hard? What happened? Or maybe this is just like an incredible archer, I guess, I don't know. Sorry, Arthur, because I'm pretty sure you're going to get attacked. I guess it's a good thing I had the emblem blade out. I don't know why he didn't go after Kevin. Alright, Sean, get everything, because you've really fallen off somehow. That's not even close to everything. In fact, I really don't think that even helps you that much. Ouch. Oh, you don't even double? I'm actually kind of surprised. Shh. 
Shuda doubles, though. I think all Thares will, too. Did the music suddenly change? I don't know. But I'm gonna let Arthur get this kill and uh, then heal him with Sia. Er, <laughs> heal him with Tamiko, not Sia. Sia can't heal. Hey, not bad. All right, let's continue breaking through this wall of units. Does two units really make a wall? I guess not. Oh, so close. Hey, nice. Okay, so we actually just can't get through. Like, we I mean, we gotta kill him. Obviously. Leave him at 1 HP so somebody else can get it. Why not? I mean, Sean just leveled, but I think I can give it to him. Wait, do you still have a sword? Yeah. It's almost broken. Corbin's inventory is not full, so let's go to the village. We call this area Ilvis. Beautiful place, isn't it? It's a shame our Count will allow this corruption with warfare. If he had worked together with the rest of Valencia, instead of selling out and abandoning his fellow territories. Magnus might have never been able to conquer Valencia the way it has. If he can be stopped, I believe Solemn's Rebellion can do it. Wow, our name already spread too? In fact, this whole village. We've all made a new resolve. We will help the Rebellion in any way possible, for the sake of everlasting peace. Please take this payment, make use of it. End Count Pelinor's tyrannical reign for us. That's a lot of money. Can you hit? No. <laughs> uh, if I put you too close... I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put you here, and you might just kill everyone, which would suck, but whatever. I'm a little worried about this side now. <laughs> just because there's so many bandits, and steel axes can hit pretty hard. And I'm pretty sure one of them can reach Arthur. If it's just one, though, I guess I don't have to worry that much. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave these two here and let the bandits do what they like. Actually, hopefully get this kill. Or, it's not hopefully. I will get the kill. Hopefully not take damage. And Shuda's gonna stay, right there, yeah. Please don't kill him, he has a steel s oh wait, but you won't kill even if you double. And you didn't even double anyway. Wow, Siegfried, didn't even double a steel user? What is wrong with you? Oh, poison? Dang it. Are they all gonna gang up on him? I think... That's fine if they have zero hit chance. <laughs> but none of them can reach him now anyway. As long as we keep dodging... ...and, you know, occasionally flexing... Okay, the rain's probably gonna start, like, next turn, right? Okay, I think I feel comfortable putting her here. Hopefully I really don't, you know, regret that. I mean, these are the two steel axes.
he's close to leveling again. And we got that, which is nice. Arthur probably can't just solo one of these guys. Well, I was wrong. Uh, here's what I'll do. Steel? Silver? <laughs> or you can just flex, I don't even have to worry about it anyway. Okay, that worked out pretty nicely, and then Arthur can come here and kill this guy and it'll all be great. Oh, I didn't even realize, but I'm okay with that. Alright, so none of them even need healing. I think the rain's gonna start, so she's might... She might just be stranded now. Away from everybody. Uh, let's try to take care of the poison bow. Oh, 52%. That's yuck. Oh well. If I can just get some damage on you, that would be great. And not as awesome, sometimes. And there's the level. Will you get more defense? I doubt it, but we'll see. No, but I got skill, so yay? She can hit more accurately now, I guess? Um... I don't really want to use either of you, I'd rather... whatever. Javelin! I don't know if I want to try that. Two chances to kill, please do. Nobody else needs to get poisoned. That's yucky. And Solemn's Rebellion, or whatever it's called, it does not need more poison. I mean, Kevin, can you make it? Nope. And Corbin can't go around. I don't think either of them have a javelin. I mean, you could hit him with steel, but you'll kill. Which I don't really want. And the killing edge will probably also kill. Yeah. I think I just throw Sean over here. And, uh... Hopefully don't get hit. Eh. I don't know. I'm gonna bring Corbin back here. I think I'll just put Sean here without attacking, and we'll just enemy phase it. See what happens. Haas can just stay over here, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Ouch. One damage, and she didn't even get hit anyway. <laughs> All right, we're still dodging and critting. Sucks that Shooter doesn't get experience very fast because I feel like it's been a long time since he's leveled up. Oh, dang it. All right, here is the rain. Oh no. She can't reach him, I'm assuming. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna move you back and we will do this. Even though the poison's gonna keep hurting you until it wears off. I mean, more experience for Tamiko either way, so I guess I don't care that much. I'm gonna go ahead and let all theirs stand in the way of this last one. And then is there anything I wanna buy? Like, how are my inventories doing? I guess it doesn't matter though, because I think the next chapter is like the last one before inventories get like switched up or whatever's gonna happen. Or sorry, not switched up, but R deleted actually, I believe is what happens. Sean really needs healing too. Just, yeah, I guess I'll just move him back. Kevin has a horrible chance to kill, but I'll try it. Nope. Bummer. Well, he'll get experience for letting someone tickle his armor. 
All right, time to get Siegfried another kill. I mean, actually, his chance isn't that great to hit either, but... Yep. At least he dodged. All right, Haas, do I just let you try it? <sighs> Why not? Mad lad, he did it. Okay, he can only reach all fairs, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna start moving them away, because I don't think all fairs is gonna need help. I think he can solo. Yeah, I can kill him on the player phase. Maybe even in one hit if I get some strength. I did not. Is his speed cap 20? Because if so, he's almost there. Yeah, level 9 and 2 away from speed cap, I, I believe. All right, he's done. Onwards with the slow crawl. The slow rain crawl. Whoops. Uh, I guess I'll let Sean get healing. Ouch, one damage. Oh no. Alright, let's see what's in this store, because why not? Radiance? Yeah, I think someone was telling me that some of the tomes and whatnot are not even tomes, but different things are, like, renamed. Because what would that be normally? I think, like, Shine or something. But in this one, it's Radiance. I could get one of those for Arthur. I don't really know if it's necessary. Try to kill this guy, and we'll see if you actually manage it, and you do. Also, I know this is, like, way late in the video, so some of you might not even hear this, but, like... Does anyone else have audio desyncs? Because on one of the last episodes, someone in the comments was saying, like, my videos are have bad audio desync lately. And when I watch it on my end, I don't have that issue at all. So I don't know if it's just because I'm the uploader so that I don't have the issue, or like if it's something on their end, or if, if that's just the case for everyone. Because one thing I will say is I think that they might think if the audio is desynced, when really it's just sometimes I don't react to things immediately. <laughs> I'll like kind of be rambling about something and then just like really delay in speaking about like what just happened on the screen. I don't know if that is the case, but. It's just a theory. A game theory! Okay, the archer can now reach Inanna. But I can reach them first. She won't be able to kill, though. So I don't know if I want to do that. I'll just put her in a forest. Well, mountain? Hill? Whatever? Oh, wait. I forgot Killing Edge. It's a little scary, even for Inanna. But it's not gonna be scary for Kevin. Although whether he gets the kill or not. Okay, cool. Some good experience. See, I don't know. I think I'm still, like, fine with not buying anything. Uh, Because, you know, if it comes down to it, I have an Emblem Lance and Emblem Sword I can just use to... Not have to worry about weapons, durability, and whatnot. Uh, let's see here. Let's give everybody, uh, range so the archer is out of luck no matter what he chooses to do. Oh, 
Went after Kevin? Maybe that was the only one he could reach. Because I was about to say, interesting choice. Shoot, this episode's going to be kind of long. I mean, we're getting to that point where the episode, or the chapters take quite a while to get through. And I'm also just slow. The poison is gone! Hurrah! This is probably going to block Arthur from having his max movement done this turn, but oh well. Level 18? Yeah. Uh, can you kill Archer Boy? Possibly. Not good experience, but it's fine. I mean, everybody here is pretty... <sighs> pretty leveled. Or leveled fairly well. It's really my mages that need more, but they aren't close enough. Also, you get doubled by this guy? What the heck, dude? I guess let's let Kevin go first, because he won't get any damage. Thanks, Kevin. You're the best. He even dodged an 84. I kind of just processed that one. Uh, Sean. Can you kill? Hopefully. But I've been missing 90s today, so I wouldn't have been surprised if you missed. Just very upset. Oh, now the rest are Axe users, so... Sword units, assemble! Which I don't think you can even get close enough. Wish I had a longbow. So what does he have on equipped? A tomahawk. That kind of sucks, but... Oh well! Why did I forget about- I keep forgetting about it. So you're probably not even close enough to get them start charging us. Also, this guy's kind of beefy. That's a little scary. But, I mean, I'll deal with that when the time comes. Alright, let's continue the slow approach! It's so much fun! And Anana's kind of like, done now. Really, my mages are done too, and healer, and whatever. Because they're not making it back in time for anything. Althairs and Shooter would have been great up here. <laughs> oh well. Okay, have fun, Corbin. Uh, Kevin, you need to move. Sorry. You're kind of done too. You do have an Axe Raver, but... I don't really need you to be doing it. I don't even know why I'm bothering to move these units anymore, because I don't think anything is going to come of it, but oh well. Thank you for dodging that. I was kind of worried. Oh hey, Corbin's almost leveled. That'll be pretty great. Well, maybe. He might get horrible stats, aka no stats. No, it was pretty good, actually! Yay for speed! Uh, I don't really... I would rather they attack Corbin, but I guess I'm gonna give them the option. They have, uh, three choices. Actually, he can probably only reach... Just kidding, his only choice is Corbin. <laughs> and then once again, I will waste my time moving these people. Don't judge me. Or do. I don't care. I think the rain's gonna stop after this. <gasps> I didn't know he had a halberd! That could have been a death for Corbin! But he dodged, luckily. Wow. This is why you pay attention to the enemies. Hmm. Why is Sean, or sorry, Siegfried, 
What, what was the point of that? Is something going to happen if I take too long? Probably about to find out. I think putting Sean's here, Sean here is a little risky, because... I don't know how much damage the beefy boy is going to do. This is intimidating. You have a defense of 7, and 10, and 10. I'll use Siegfried. Again. And we will see what happens with that. And hey, you guys can actually, like, maybe catch up. It's not gonna amount to anything, but... Oh well. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you can handle it. Oh, you got hit. And you're critting. Twice? No! I wanted to give that to someone else! Okay, I mean, that was good experience for him. Whatever, here's a level. Okay, it was actually pretty dang good. And we get triumphant music, and I need to attack Liquid with uh, Haas, like I'm doing now, and they both just need to survive. Apparently that's all I need to do. So I guess before I end the chapter, since I can, let's get Tamiko more experience. <laughs> And, uh... Seems like all I need to do is this. Noble Athean. I... Yes, I recognize you. I never thanked you. So, how shall I repay you? When you're finished with these guys, take out my paw. It'll end the suffering of many. So you plan to die here? I don't have no choice. That's not true. You can still escape this battle. I can help you, consider it. No, I owe my debts and I gotta pay them back. Dots. And I hit anyway, nice Haas. Liquid, listen to me, we don't have to do this. But my paws crimes. And I still got debts to pay to Pelinor. I don't care what you say, chief. If you defeat me, I... I won't hold a grudge. Doesn't matter, because you'll be dead anyway. But otherwise, I have to... Liquid, you and your father are very different people. You're a good person who cares about others. There's no reason for you to atone for your father's sins. But I owe the Count, and he promised me that... I don't know what promise you speak of. However, these people are tainted by Magnus's ways. They're only using you. And how I know you ain't using me too, Chief. I owe you for everything you've done to help the Fora. My repayment is helping you escape the grasp of Magnus. Maybe you're right. I am right. Now go, escape! If you go now, you won't be caught. Chief Haas, I... I never been meant for this to happen. You showed mercy towards me, an enemy. Thank you. Liquid, you're a good person, and yet... You've simply been following the wrong path. I can only hope it doesn't continue. Take care, Liquid. Oh. Oh, shoot, I wasted... Mm. My bad. Should have let him... I should have let Tamiko heal Inanna. Not Siegfried, because now I gotta waste, like, two turns to get him over here. Silly me. Although, hey, more healing for Tamiko, I guess. Maybe I will get her to level 20 before the chapter 10 ending switch. End of Lin mode. Yada yada. All right, gate has been seized. Haas, that boy. How are you able to persuade their leader to flee the battle? What kind of relation do you have with the Magnian commander? His name was Liquid, son of the leader of a well-known group of bandits. He... he hated the life of a bandit. One day, he appeared to our tribe and we accepted him as our own, as a brother. He spent his days aiding us by fighting off thieves and brigands. But one day, he suddenly disappeared. He came here. He said he had debts to repay. Is that so? I tried to persuade him to stop, yet... He was hesitant and fearful of what would happen if he betrayed the person he was indebted to. I owed him for everything he had done to help my tribe, and so I told him to escape. 
I don't know where he is now, but I hope he is alive. I too hope he lived. I don't wish to kill innocents. Liquid, he's gone through a lot in his life. Everyone deserves a chance at having mercy, Siegfried. Even the Magnus Empire and its tyrannical ru rulers? Even the generals of Magnus? You're wrong, Haas. Not everyone. No, Siegfried. I'm afraid that you are wrong. It is those kinds of feelings that lead to war. Idiot. So long as people don't attempt to truly understand one another, war will thrive. If we judge their actions based off of their actions alone, then we're no better than any of the Magnians. Even the Athean tribes and the rebels are at fault for war. We all are. Siegfried's like, don't ever talk down to me again. Oh god, I read that as Eternal Bombs for a second, and I was very concerned. But it's Eternal Bonds. Oh, and some sad music. Father, we're so close to reaching Yulia Castle. Yes, being here brings back so many memories. Both good and bad. Father. <laughs> Is that all you can say, Sean? How ironic. When I was a child, I could have never envisioned I... I would be approaching Yulia with hopes of conquering it. Father, you were a knight of Regalia, weren't you? Yes, but as I told you before, I was born in Yulia. I transferred to Regalia when I was older. I remember the day I was told to, or I was to be knighted. It was in this area. The path my father led me down to my trials. My grandfather? Yes. What kind of man was he? He was brave and kind. He had given his body and soul to this nation. He was a true knight, much unlike me. Father, don't say that. You have given your life to something greater than a country. You fight for people's freedom, on all of Solemn. Sean, thank you. You've really grown through these experiences. Before we embarked on this journey, you were a boy. But now you are a man. In fact, Sean, let this battle be your test. If we are victorious, you will have proven your worth. As a knight. Okay, Siegfried, kinda weird. Count Pelinor, all of our outskirt defenses have been defeated. We do not have much time to meet with their impending challenge. Damn, we don't have enough time. That damnable liquid. A failure till the end. How should we meet with the rebels? Ugh. General Howard has not returned from ages, however. He should arrive in a few hours with a good part of his legion of men. So have all troops deploy. I'll guard the gate myself. My lord, if you were to fall, who will rule? I'm your leader, do not question me. I really won't mind dying as long as I see that man. Siegfried, die with me. Now follow your orders. Yes, sir. All my dreams and hopes, they rest in this battle. This is our last hope. I wonder, should I have defected to Magnus? Hmm. No, I must not speak that way. This will give me the chance for revenge. Ah yes, Siegfried. He is a miserable dastard. He must die. Even if it costs me my life, I'll get my revenge someone teleported? Of course, Count Pelinor. Look at everything you've obtained for Magnus. Wealth, power, and much more. You shall claim, claim revenge on Siegfried, and soon after, all of Valencia shall be yours. What? All... all of Valencia? Yet Count Perry of Divisio. We formed an alliance with Divisio. Yulia and Divisio, God, quit saying it, are to have split dominance over Valencia. Count Perry is not needed. We shall dispose of him. That isn't what we agreed on. I cannot murder my compatriot. This is not acceptable. Oh? Yet what of Aegis? Neither of us care for that. That damned place can burn to ash. If that is what you will, then Count Perry shall live. We shall find a purpose for him to warrant life. I am fearful that Siegfried's rabble may break through our lines. They've taken down Athea's occupational forces, and now... They've even passed through our defenses. The knights I sent are scattered and routed. When are General Howard's soldiers arriving? All you must do is hold them off for a short while. Uh, didn't we meet this guy before? Your soldiers are to distract the enemies, drawing them closer to the castle. General Howard will come from the south by this afternoon. He'll take his soldiers and attack their weak spot for massive damage. They'll be surrounded and completely destroyed. I assure you, there will be no flaws. You are sure this will work? Because if it doesn't, I fear the worst. Count Pelinor, there will be no mistakes. Siegfried will die and the rebellion crushed. In any case, this matter is not what I have been charged with, so I'm afraid I can't help you, Count Pelinor. But just remember this, victory is only a breath away. I know we met him earlier, but I can't remember who he was. This day will bring my dreams to life. Still, that boy, he's so strange. His presence alone makes me want to drop to my knees. I can practically feel the ether around him. Okay, finally. Uh, 
don't got much to say. Uh, chapter 10, after this, I am i don't know if Siegfried's gonna die, but something's gonna happen where we lose all of our items and whatnot. So, um, looking forward to that, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye!